Washington. I've been interested in search and rescue since 9-11, watching the search dogs on the pile. So when I found Remington, it kind of sparked that wanting to do it, and Remington seemed like a perfect dog to work with. As a puppy, he explored a lot. He just really was interested in everything. He liked to play a lot, and he liked to hunt for his toys and everything else. He was very independent, so that showed a lot that Remington would be a good search dog. So he started his training in June of 2011. When he wasn't training, he was at home with me. And then he would go to the fire station with me to work. He's a funny little boy. He's a, he's a clown. But uh, when it's time to get serious, he gets serious. He can be very playful, but he is a working search dog, very serious about his job. Remington was my first search and rescue dog. So we learned how to search with each other. Remington can tell the difference between when we're training and when it's actually working. His body language changes significantly. He would have this confidence about him and he would be able to just go out and work all day long. Most of the searches he would do from nine till three or four in the afternoon. So constantly working all day long. One of the most memorable moments while working with Remington, we had responded to a house fire that was suspected to have been a murder scene. Remington helped locate the exact room where the victim was presumed to have been murdered. The work that Remington does in search and rescue helps families of loved ones that are lost and brings closure to the family. Remington has gone searches that were 30 plus year cold cases where the family never knew where their family was, so giving answers to, to those missing people. So in March of 2019, Remington began limping after we were doing some training. It took six months to get a diagnosis of cancer. After K-9 Remington retired, he was in need of intensive medical care to remove a cancerous tumor from his spine. In doing so, it was also necessary to remove one of his legs. I took him home and he was sitting on the floor and I was crying and my son came up with a Band-Aid and put a Band-Aid on Remington's leg and said, it'll be okay. What a lot of people don't know is that when a working dog leaves service, the agencies they served don't have the funding available to pay their medical care. We at Project K-9 Hero feel that every retired police K-9, military working dog, or search and rescue dog deserves to be cared for in their retirement. Now, a year later, you can see that Remington's walking fine, he's acting fine, and he's really living the type of retirement that he deserves. He is pretty much the same dog. He likes to run, he loves to swim. Um, he's, he's almost the same dog besides being retired. He is the guardian of my children. We have two small toddlers that he follows around and he'll sleep with them in their bed. He's just, he's a, one of our family members.